Welcome back, fellow armchair generals. This is Gamer1745 here with my continuing playthrough of Hearts of Iron 3 with Black Ice 8.6. Okay, quick rundown. We've taken Stalingrad. Yay, yay, yay. Let's do the happy dance. Yeah, no, I'm sitting in my chair, but that's really good. We've taken that. We've taken Leningrad. We've taken Murmansk. We've now finally broke out from this sort of Soviet... Um, bottleneck that we were in which was really sort of sucking because normally I like to hit here to disperse their um, effect but they really had a, a lot fewer units than I did but got that we've got these two pockets that I'm hoping are entirely running out of organization here and to sort of test that what we're going to do is and I want to have him in charge of the polis so we're going to Attack Narva here. Yeah, looks like they are just about out of organization. So let's add Paulus now. I think the other guy will. Yeah, Ulex or however you pronounce his name. I haven't heard of him other than long time seeing him here. So. It there. I'm still holding Astrakhan. So other than our limitations to our production, it's going great. There, it looks like. Okay, you don't need to go there. You can come down this way. This battle I was hoping would be. Now they're too well organized. So we're going to stop this. We lost this province. Hmm. Let's send you down there and you down here. Still trying to fly in supplies where I can. Yes, yes, you can attack out and lose all your organization. And Gross Deutschland continues to push deeper and deeper. Which I was sort of a better writer or storyteller to remember and tell the stories of these divisions as they move east. Victory after victory with a few setbacks. Would be a fascinating story. Okay. You're going here. This is, a, I think, a major... Oh, just two. No, oh, it's down here is the major 15 point victory, but still. Okay, well, they're going north of the river. He's coming down there. You, I think we're going to stop and hit you. Here. I'm going to hit you. Keep 
we go to there because these guys are going to come down and deal with anybody trying to get across that river. We're pushing that pocket in there, so we're going to do Okay, ground attack tactics. That's, that's good. And we're gonna let that go. Ah, the rebuilt seventh Panzer Division. Well, we need a place with some supplies so he can get organized. This looks like a good one. So let's drop him here. Let's get a good commander. Not SS. Wouldn't do that to the 7th. Hmm. I was hoping to get a one that had a panzer leader <coughs> trait. Well, it would do a. wouldn't be a dishonor to put a Luftwaffe, but I don't think I want to do that. How's it? King, don't know those names. Grammar. Mm. Okay, well, we're going to go with Color Man because our, our Knights Cross, but Panzer Leader and Offensive Doctor because we are still thinking of being offensive with our. Tree types, but so we'll let them get organized up here. And that looks like a pretty good division. Elizabethville, well good. We can use the rare materials there for sure. These guys off and
proletariat division. Really don't want to get the airborne too far away. I want to get them back to the to an air base here. Um, no, oh yeah, there's an airbase here, of course. Um, and then be ready to send them for the North Africa reaction. That's part of what take some units off being supply, which they're very needed to do supply, but. We should temporarily take them off the supply, air supply, and put them to... Whether you do paradrops or just simply to reinforce units you know, already on the ground. Okay, infantry radio communications, that's good. Well, we might as well do these. One, oh, wait a minute, what do we not have? Oh, no, we have that. Get radar improved on the ships. Barely any or no organization, no supply. What is it? Now the other side isn't too much walking out, but they're gonna probably drop out pretty soon. Force to keep them from leaving, but now they are they are completely disorganized. Units that are going to either get completed sooner or be more useful first. I 
Okay, so now we looks like fully got all the way around Stalingrad, so they aren't coming back. Try a bit now and again, but I don't think they're coming back. We'll be able to. Okay, Tigers, we've been waiting to see you operate. Let's see how you do. Waiting for supplies. Oh, finally get rid of this piece of junk. Okay. Yes, they need supplies. Uh-oh, partisans. Japan wants to trade. Hopefully something nice. Money for rare materials. Sure. We want all the rare materials we can get. Okay, well, you're moving up to there. Good. So you continue also to move up to there. Tiger across the river. Reverse. Just to say, pin them. Uh oh. Uh. Romania, yes, you may have energy. Keep your production up if you can. Well, and I do think these are affecting our supply situations. And let's send in this SA headquarters and in here. Send you guys over to here. That should help. Put down a little bit. Yeah, let's I 
here in a good spot. Okay, that should help. Maybe these guys have used up their supplies. We can stop guarding them. Let's start attacking them. Okay, well, they're still attacking there, they're coming through there, that's good. Well, they're being stressed, so let's support that attack. Let's come through. So it does a retrain. So let's come up that way. Just make a mini horse. And we can attack there.
place to organize. This is the one that's it's such a pain in the butt. Okay, guys. Let's see. You're in good shape. You're not. We don't want you to shatter. Oh, well. Yeah, so. I'm going to tell you to get to go. Six hours. Okay, what are you doing? Well, let's see. That, uh, uh, just the 2.1 of the other ones up here, okay, okay. So we want to kind of... We're changing the direction of the events. Let's see if you can pick up some territory. Here, I wanted to. Probably gonna get converted to the. I mean, Goering division any moment now, but. We found his. HQ, so at least he now has combined arms, and let's send him way over here. Get him moving.
Oh, we're gonna detach. Railway gun Siegfried from you. Then you'll be more mobile and useful division again. You don't need to go there, so you might go on the defense and you're defending. There we go. That'll be even better. Uh oh. Okay, well, I'll get to defeat that. Right there. So I'm going to stay into that. These two pockets and they look like me. Well, as much as I like, but getting nearly done. Tigers look like they're doing fairly well. Yeah, I know they're going to stall out because they have no organization, but still. Since you made it to these guys, I'll attack you. So, yeah, I'll keep it in order.
doing it soon. Wait it here. No. Ah, the Indian Legion. At least temporarily, we're moving on to Panzer Army in Africa. Yeah, we can send these guys up to here. These guys will just stop. Oh, now they're moving 10 miles an hour. Well, that's good. Or 10 kilometers an hour. Whatever. And we got here finally. Finally, finally, finally. If we just hit it. Yeah. 10 rare materials. Eh, we'll get some and it'll be useful. We'll have uranium, which. Um, no. Aluminum, no. Oh, we may have to start and restock a little bit up there. That would be the occupying force. We support that attack. And you come in here to occupy that. Ah, nuclear power. So now we have the. We now have it up there. Um, yeah, uranium. So nuclear research generally, just because we have uranium, is plus seven point two percent, and I think it'll get more once we get more of the up to ten percent once we get it fully rebuilt. Um, but we also have um, the heavy water, so. I really like the extra money. That'll be really nice. We buy some more resources. Oh. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. We're back up to production again because we captured Elizabethville's rare materials. That was the Belton um, headquarters, our capital. So that also happened to us, though we're going to eat them down pretty quickly but it'll be nice and we'll get more from that so that will really help but the money will allow us hopefully to buy some more for Japan if Japan will deal with us whenever I've tried to um, initiate a trade thing they don't seem to want it but once in a while I reinforce conquer on Belgium wait a minute does that mean we've got Okay, well, we did at least until they occupy it. Um, that's nice. So, flag wise, we got this, which includes a port out to here. Hmm, okay, well, good. I don't know how long we can hold all that, but we may be seeing. British forces moving in there, but we also have the Italians up here pushing the British and South Africans into us, but still. These are just sort of unoccupiable for us, so they didn't switch over. Well, good. We got the Belgian Congo. Now, for production, let's see. Let's go full here, full here. We don't need more than that on reinforcements. Um, hmm. Okay, well. to do here is 
think ahead a bit. So we have this. I want to build another oil rig here to improve this. Let's go so we can spot. So we are building that. And we want another oil rig here. that out. Yep, let's do another oil rig here. Not that big. Extraction here. Got a couple already scheduled for there. I think once we take Moscow, we get another big boost. But that will go away. So there are some. I think massive amounts out here, if we ever get out here. I don't know at what stage or how we will enforce conquers on the Soviet Union here. Can't do that. We are at 62.7%. The main thing that's keeping them going is that they still have Moscow, which we've intentionally left them. Okay, we have one pocket here left. So, um,. Says you have supplies.
Air reconnaissance, okay, good. Oh, what is it's too far ahead? Air reconnaissance craft design, which just what we got. Well, I guess the expansion could be because we got. Well, is there a one and done that didn't pop up? No, probably just because we got more cities and whatnot under our control. I think it's time we start the movies. It must be fascinating to be the youth of today, to be able to play a game like this and not know who won historically. And I don't mean a particular battle. I mean, like, did the Germans win or the Americans? Because if you look at some of the stuff I've seen, well, they've asked some of these modern day kids that are college graduates who won what wars. They don't seem to have a clue. I'm serious. And no, I know it's not all of them. And I know some of you are of that age and you know a lot. Like I say, I know it's just enough of them. It's enough of them. Um, yeah, let's see if we cross over and smash, smash them. <coughs> Overrun them. Keep them going. Um, yeah. Well, now you can attack. Okay. No, we don't need to. We just want to go there. No, well, you need to attack. You need to attack there.
Uh, money for fuel right now. Money for fuel, money for fuel. It's about all the money I have. No. We're living with the short fuel rations. We're doing it long enough now. Okay, cool. These guys need to carry on. Organization on that. We shattered our, well, we didn't shatter, but we exhausted ourselves, and the main thing was just to keep protecting that. And we've done that. I don't know what Romania and Hungary really think they're doing coming up here. I really got on us don't. I got on this little AI brain to do this.
And another core headquarters. Shut. Good, it looks like us getting this here blocked out a bunch of retreating British, English, whatever units. See if we attack here. I want to see what happens. Okay, they're, they're done for. They don't have any organization. Good. We'll do that. Maybe Uganda or wherever that was. I think we're going to end the episode here. I sort of wanted to only take a few more of these things, but well, we're doing okay, I guess. And revolt risk. Yeah. That, not yet. They're coming. Some more. Lines out to group in to help control the east. Oh, more and more, I think, stuff coming from the Belgian Congo being shipped back. So that may really help our... They could have really stacked up a lot there for a long time. So that will help our production abilities considerably. Great. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking the videos. I really do appreciate that. And please post questions, comments, suggestions, ideas. I love hearing from you. See you next time for more Arts of Iron.